Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to successfully set up your music score in the music notation software MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will want to open up uh, MuseScore 3. You can either click on the icon if you have it on your desktop, or if uh, you do not have an icon on your desktop, you can go down to Start Menu if you've got a PC, and then find the program by scrolling down to MuseScore 3 and then uh, finding the program. So once I click that, it will open up. And now it's going to ask me if I would like to create a new score or go through the tutorial. Uh, for this lesson, we're going to create a new score. So I'm going to click that. And it brings me to uh, the first page of the setup, which is asking for different parts of uh, the score. So it asks for the title. And I'm going to go ahead and title this piece test title number one. And you can name the piece whatever you would like. And then uh, subtitle. Uh, most music does not have a subtitle. But for this piece, let's go ahead and write a subtitle in just so you can see what it looks like. Good. The composer. And if you are the composer, you will want to write your name. Uh, so I'm going to be the composer for this piece. So Kyle Davies. Uh, and ask for the lyricist. So if you have anyone that has written the lyrics for your piece, you will want to put their name there. If you are the one that wrote the lyrics and the music, typically for that, you can just write your name as the composer. And that's usually um, good enough. That's what I usually do. And then uh, it asks for copyright. Again, this is optional. But I like to start with the year. So uh, I write 2020, comma. And then I write the name of the music publishing company that I use. And I'm a self-publisher. But I'm going to make up a name here. So ABCD Music Publishing. And then uh, I like to write all rights reserved. And I find that that is pretty good language uh, for a copyright on a piece of sheet music. And once you are satisfied with everything you see here, then you'll go down here and click Next. Now they are going to ask uh, what instruments or voice parts you would like to include in your score setup. Uh, so it gives you some options here. And you can see they've got general options where you can just put a, a basic treble clef or a bass clef uh, there. Uh, has the grand staff also. Uh, you have choral options as well as solo and then jazz as well as uh, band and orchestral. Now uh, for this one, let's start with a choir piece. I'm going to do SATB uh, plus piano. Now you're going to notice that uh, if you want to add more parts than you see here, you're going to have to do that in a later step. Uh, because uh, this screen only lets you choose what selections they have. So unfortunately, I haven't found a way to be able to add the extra um, instruments in this page, but I'll show you a, 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 in a, a next the next step how to do that. So we're going to start with just SATB plus piano. So go ahead and select one of those, and then you will go ahead down here and click Next. It's going to ask you for the key signature. I'm going to go for G major for this piece. And then I'm going to click Next. Now it's asking for the time signature. And uh, so you can click on the time signature, and you can adjust how many beats per measure. And you can also adjust uh, what kind of note gets the beat. Um, let's go ahead and set this one up for a 3-4 time signature. You also have the selection for common time or cut time. And then uh, we have a pickup measure. Uh, that's if you have a pickup note, you can uh, click that and then add your pickup note. I'm going to add one uh, beat for a pickup note. You can change that, of course. And then it says, enter the number of measures. Uh, typically, uh, I just keep the number of measures there because you can add or remove uh, measures later. So that's no big deal. And then uh, it asks for tempo. For this piece, I'm going to have a tempo of 90 beats per minute. And it, once you see that everything here is the way you would like it, uh, you can see the next is. Um, you is not able to click that, but you're going to want to click on finish. This is the last step of the setup. So now you've got your um, first piece of music set up, and you can see it's got my title, test title, as well as uh, the subtitle, the composer, and then it has this SATB plus the piano. And it even put uh, my quarter note equals 90 at the top there. So now that you have your score initially set up, let's say that you want to add an organ part to this piece. Um, we weren't able to do that earlier, but let's say uh, we want to add the organ part. You will want to come up to Edit, and then come down here to Instruments, and click on that. 
And now you see it's giving you um, the instruments tab where you can add or take away instruments. So I'm going to go down to keyboards and I found organ. And then I'm going to, so if you want to add organ, you just click on organ and then click on add. And now over here on the right, it shows you what you have set up. So soprano, alto, tenor, bass, piano. And then now the organ is there that I just added. Now uh, I can press OK. And now you can see that it uh, added the score to the bottom. But you can see it's hard to see the score on the bottom. So let's say you want to zoom in, in or out. What you do for that is you can press Control and Plus. We'll zoom in. So you see Control Plus. Uh, zoomed in or control minus will zoom out. So I'm going to hit control minus and control minus again. And now you can see the organ part on the bottom that I added. And uh, another way to zoom in and out is to do control and then um, use your scroll wheel. So if you do control and then scroll in and then scroll out. So those are the two ways you can scroll in and out. If you'd like to move around the piece of music, you just click on it and then and move the your cursor. So it'll move the piece of music where you would like to see it. Um, so that's another way to move the score around. And um, so now we've got the organ part. Now let's say I wanted the organ part in a different place. We go back to, so let's say I, I want the organ to show up at the top instead of the bottom. Um, that's, not, that, that's not how it would be done with this setup. But let's say you wanted to do that. You go back to edit, click on instruments, and then over on the right, it shows you your organ. So I'll click on organ, and I can either remove it, or you can see this arrow. I can move it up. So now it's going to show at first if I move it the whole way up to the top. So now I'll press OK, and you'll see now organ is at the top of the score instead of on the bottom. And um, so those are some of the main ways to set up your piece. Let's say uh, you want to change the title. All you would do is just double click on the title, and you can see it gave a little box. And now I can select that text and just change the title. Uh, let's say I, I don't need the subtitle anymore. So I can just double click on that and press delete. That will get rid of the subtitle. And then we have the composer. That's fine. So everything else is looking good. So again, th that's how you uh, can set up your score initially from the beginning. And one last thing I wanted to show you is uh, in this one, just how you can save your score. So you can go up to uh, these icons here. You could press uh, save score to file. So it's that icon there. And this is going to save it as a Muse score file. So you can just uh, keep the ch change the name, whatever you'd like, and then press save. Or you can go up to file and press save. And that will bring up a sim the same uh, you know um, view where you can save your file by naming it. And uh, you can also, if you want to uh, export this as a PDF, so if you want to save it as a PDF, you just hit export, and then now you've got that, and it's going to save it as a PDF file instead. Uh, so that's how uh, the main ways that you can uh, set up your score and uh, have at least the instruments um, figured out. And uh, again, um, navigating the basic functions of moving around on your score. You now know how to successfully set up your music score with the music software Muse Score 3. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, type them into the comments section below, and I will do my best to answer them. I have another video that covers uh, how to input notes. Um, so if you're ready to start putting notes on your music, uh, you can go ahead and click on that. I'll put the link around uh, this video. And uh, if you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe to this channel, Musician Startup. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.